Hello, everyone. My name is James Strong. This is the SIG Networking subproject Ingress Nginx, which means that it is subjected to the CNCF code of conduct, which essentially means be kind to each other. If you have any issues with anyone on the call, please let me or the SIG Networking leads know. With that, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, today, I think we'll probably be a light one. Most of the maintainers weren't able to join. I know a lot of us are still catching up from KubeCon. So I know Ricardo is not going to be able to join us. He's still working on the ETE split for the uh, data plane control plane and Gentile can't join. So um, might be a short one unless we all have some things. I don't see any new folks on the call, so we can go ahead and skip to that one. And um, I know Dylan, you said you had an update. We can go through that. Um, and I know, Ishan, we had some, I have some discussions. I wanted to see where we're at with open telemetry. So we can go through that one because I wanted, I wasn't sure about getting that one into the 151 release because I didn't know where we were. And there was, a, there was a lot of tickets and a lot of, a lot of things. So I just, you know, maybe you can help, uh, help me through that. And then um, we can get that one probably into the next release. Um, and hopefully, the release after that drop Jaeger and open tracing. All right, that was a lot of me talking. Dylan, you want to go ahead and give your update on uh, the Nginx agent? Yeah, sure thing. So um, we we finally have a date for a date of sorts. So we're targeting end of November. Um, we're expecting um, a bit of fanfare. So there'll be, I think they they were talking about a blog post. We'll we'll turn the the repo from private to public. Um, and I think there'll be like a small marketing push from us as well. So, um, those are things that you guys can look for. I think most people are just going to be interested in the repo, um, once it's, once it's, once it's open to the public. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be exciting. And then we'll, uh, we can see what it helps, what problems it helps to solve and hopefully deprecate some features. Um, that does bring up another point that I was thinking about. So I've got a lot of things on my mind when it comes to Ingress Nginx and that one's uh, mod security. So we might want to pull up that one and see what you all are thinking about how to fix that one. But um, anyway, I'll add that as the open topic. Um, Ishan, do you want to, am I pronouncing that correctly too, by the way? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's Aeson. Aeson? Yeah, like songs. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Well, I apologize and thank you for correcting me. Problem. Um, so we did just do the one five one release, like I was talking about before we started recording. Um, do you want to give us? Uh, do you want to share your screen and do a walkthrough? I saw there's a documentation PR, and I know that there's an issue tracking with a bunch of different things. And uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately, like I said, I I'm I've been I'm struggling a little bit with that one. So let's uh do you do you have the uh have that ready to to do a little bit of a walkthrough i i don't have it running no but i can show oh, no, not tech not technically i meant like looking through making sure the prs and everything's are in order i can pull yeah. up the open telemetry issue if you want we can just walk through it on my screen yeah that, that would be great okay um you wouldn't happen to know the number um There's the documentation one. There's the feature. I think that's it. So yeah, we've yeah. got so yes. Yeah, so that's the main one. The the feature? Yeah. I think my internet would be faster. Okay. Yeah, so the this is what the user needs. Uh, I put the, everything in config. Controller config map. It's in the description. And the user needs to uh, enable the extra module for open telemetry. Okay. Yeah. I provided one example for the test in case reviewers wanted to test, and that, that will be how it will look like. Awesome. I think yeah. Ricardo got everything. I think he got his okay on this one. Let's 
there was another lot of discussion. The... Okay. No, nothing was on, on the PR from Ricardo. I don't remember. And there is one documentation also here. Yeah, I've like got this one. So. Like I put up the whole example where the users can install some. I mean, they they have to build some images and then they can. Okay. Well. Uh... And there is one more change that it's not there yet. We had this problem with um, uh, with gRPC files, SO files, and that we have to, to copy. I I have solved it, but I haven't made the PR yet. So the open telemetry sidecar image will be smaller. Okay. Um, so we'll just need to rebuild it, re rebuild it before we accept these ones. Um, I think I, they are mostly independent. So yeah, we can do yeah. either way. I, I yeah. So I'm guessing, um, cause we'll probably want to release a new version of the charts, um, right. When we want to put that out there. Yeah, we, I can raise. Okay. So the open open telemetry module is completed. The documentation is ready, and you're just working on getting a, another update. Um, yeah. Is that an accurate statement? Can you flip the Can you flip this away from draft so we can go ahead and work through it? Um, I don't oh, know yeah. if there's anything. Did you? I think the other thing that we've also been pushing for is end-to-end -end tests. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we've got some of we've got those in there as well. We're making the changes we do. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a change in CH root, but okay. Open telemetry and then awesome. That's uh yeah. That's all I was uh, uh looking for. Okay. So if the end and end tests uh run, then we should be able to get this into the next the next one. Um I have a question. This is just because of my own ignorance. When is is this considered a breaking change if we were to enable this? Is it only a breaking change when we remove open tracing and Jaeger? Um no, it's not breaking. Okay, so this is additional functionality, but you'd have to migrate your open tracing and Jaeger to the open telemetry module. Um you can keep both. But you then you have to rely on the collector. Okay. Well, I think I think our goal was to remove the the dependency because there's a lot of things that we build in the Nginx module um, with open tracing and Jaeger. If we can remove those dependencies, so I was thinking, I guess there's a, a migration path um, mm -hmm. that we'd have to put together. So once we release it, I think what we want to put in the release notes of how uh, of of to doing a migration, so give folks a version before we um, migrate it, uh, before we deprecate Jaeger and open tracing and force folks to move to the open telemetry collector. Um, yeah, and one more news here, uh, Jaeger collector also accepts the protocol I use here. Okay. So, uh, hotel collector is not um, really mandatory. I, I, it's one of those things where we're trying to reduce all of the dependencies inside the Nginx build. Because if you look, there's about 43 of them. And mm -hmm. open telemetry. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. It's not used it's here. It was a mandatory thing for the user. So we are doing OTLP, gRPC. The users in the past had to use collector. Because the backends didn't support that, most of them. But uh, I think since May, Jaeger started to support OTLP gRPC, and Grafana also supports it. And I provided the examples in, in the documentation how to deploy the backends. There's no dependency uh, in, in Nginx repo. So it will, be, it will be just on the user how they want to collect their telemetry data. Okay. 
Awesome. Well, um, I'll go ahead and review it too then, since I know Ricardo hasn't had a chance to do that and I haven't had a chance to test it anyway. Um, so um, thank you. Thank you for that. And then I'll just, I'll, I'll map it out and probably put it in an issue, uh, probably add it to your issue on what we're going to do and how we're going to release this. Um, thank you. Awesome. Uh, well, thank, uh, one, you, thank you for all the work. Yeah, thanks. Uh, one question. Uh, uh, I don't know how the bills are. Are they, are they multi arc? Or, and do you support ARM's processor or so? Yeah, I do believe it does. Um, the way we can tell is by going and looking at, I think it's in the make file when we do a release. So if you go look at the make release target, it specifies which ones we do. Uh, I, I mean, the images that you publish in GCR, I believe. Yeah. OK. So these are these are all the ones that we support, and it's possible to download those images, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And it should be the same for the open telemetry. Yeah, it should be the same. I believe. When we do the build, yeah, build platforms, and I think that yeah, that platform I think takes it from the top level. Um, the top level make file. Okay, awesome. Thanks. All of those out. Uh, before we go into the triaging, let's go ahead and I know this one. This one should be completed because the one five one release. There were no CVEs to my knowledge, and I was going through and closing these out. Um. Let me go look at one of the other issues because I think I'm just gonna. Um, I've been closing them out and ask, asking folks to um, upgrade. Uh, where are some of them? These are issues. That was me. I've got this somewhere, and uh, I closed several of these. The ads, the fix. Uh, sorry, folks, you get to watch me stumble around the issue tracker, uh, all of the GitHub issues. That's a new one. This is one I closed out either. Um, I'll find that one. I'll go ahead and go close this one out so we don't have to keep watching me stumble through. All right, um, so I'll go ahead and review that one. We've already talked about the control plane discussion. I need to, I haven't even looked at this one. I haven't followed up with this one either yet. Uh, I know there's a couple, we've got a couple others from the stability stuff about um, HTTP ban is one, the code, the Go vulnerability checker is one, the default backend, Update is another, so I need to get those two in here. And then as far as the release process is concerned, um, I just finished the 151 release and the SIG release notes tool isn't, there's a discrepancy between the SIG release notes tool and whatever release notes GitHub is generating. Um, and I haven't been able to figure out what the differences between those two are. So release notes are going to have to go back to the drawing board. I think we might have to write something from scratch instead of trying to reuse the GitHub, the GitHub CLI, the release notes tool and generating a release because it's, it's been, 
incredibly difficult to try to automate that um, using any of those tools. So that's where we're at from the release process perspective. That's unfortunate that we can't use any of the tools out of the box. Um, I think we might need to refactor the release process anyway, just because I think there's about 14 or 15 different files we touch from a release perspective. Um, and they're scattered across bash scripts and it just needs cleaned up and just re uh, overhauled from the ground up. That's where that on the stabilization projects. That's, um, and then, like I said, it's going to be a short one today. I don't think we want to sit and triage issues. Um, I was probably going to do those offline for the next 40 minutes unless anyone had any issues that they wanted to discuss. Um, I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> And I don't want to sit on a recording for uh, you know forty minutes. Anyone disagree disagree with that assessment? Not at all. <laughs> Thank you for the validation, Dylan. <laughs> you bet. Yeah, bet. That just sounds <laughs> onerous to me. <laughs> it, it it is. Um, I mean, I'm gonna. It's still going to be completed. I was doing it a little bit before the meeting, um, but before we do adjourn, Dylan, I think the one ask I was talking about was mod security. So we know mod security is being deprecated. Okay. Uh, and I didn't know if Nginx had comments on that. I, I know that's unprompted right now. So if we need to come back from the team, that's completely fine as well. But I don't want to continue supporting things that are going to be deprecated. We do a lot yep. of that now. Um, we pull in images, we support them. Mod security would be a huge undertaking, I would think. We're already understaffed as is. So I didn't yeah. know what Nginx's thoughts would be as, you know, as a whole. <clears throat> well, I do know that um, um, with our acquisition by F5, a lot of the um, mod security stuff has been slowly going away. Um, as far as what the official statement is, I'm going to have to go talk to uh, the current PM. Uh -huh. is, that, is that Nina, Carol? It's uh, Daphne and I, Daphne, okay. it is definitely being deprecated. I can probably dig up a date if needed roughly, but I'd rather yeah. get a, a statement from Daphne. That would be great. I mean, I can't say anything either. We just upgraded to 121.6 from an Nginx perspective. And I think that is already deprecated from a support perspective. But, you know, we're tied to the open Rusty um, support train as well. So, um, again, just working working on trying to get things upgraded as fast as possible. And I know that one's coming. I think that's mid next year. I, I can't remember when the mod security one is being deprecated, but I just want to Probably put out an open issue to get comments as well, because that's the other thing we need to get feedback from the from the survey. We had a lot of people. I think that was the second or third feature that folks used, and I saw a ticket today open up about the version of the OWASP stuff that we use. So I know it's being used. I know it's going to be talked about. So I think I'm just gonna I'll put the ticket in there uh, as an open issue. I'll wait for the comment. Um, from that you guys will can get for us and then we yep. can just see what the community comes back with. I'm going to start putting it in the release notes because I, 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 I've done the same thing with the registry. Um, the, the Kubernetes SIG release team has done that as well and we still keep getting issues about folks not understanding why they're not being able to pull stuff. So um, I'm going to open up the issue. I'm going to drop it in the Slack channel. I might put it out in the dev mailing list just to ask folks for comments. Because we just need to put that out there as wide as possible. As soon as we deprecate it and folks are like, what happened? I want to make sure we over communicate this one. Okay. We'll do. We'll get we'll we'll get um we'll get a full like um update from Daphne and team and then um find out what if there's any questions or follow-up questions, we can bring those back. Um do you want that information before the next? SIG meeting in two weeks, or do you, or what, how time sensitive do you think that is? I mean, I'll have the issue to track it. Um, okay. So she could update it directly. Um, I, I don't think the next one is you know, required, but you know, soon, <laughs> end of the year, maybe. 
we can talk to you on the Slack we have too, the Nginx community Slack, James. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that one I've also been directing folks to. I think we've had two or three questions around um, the Nginx, the whole Nginx versus Ingress Nginx. Mm -hmm. So as, as folks ask questions about that, I direct them to that community as well. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. No problem. All right. Well, I'm going to take the next half hour to triage issues. I uh, don't really want to stick around on the recording to do that. And if you folks want to hang out, you're more than welcome to. I'll keep the uh, I can keep the Zoom open. And with that, I'll click end recording.